Okay, so <clears throat> we just made those three uh, bitmap files, right, in uh, Photoshop, and now we're go I'm going to show you how you can use those in Illustrator. Um, so anyway, I'm in Illustrator, and I'm just going to hit Create New. <clears throat> and then I'm going to choose Print, and then I'm going to choose Inches, and then I'm going to make it 11 wide and 17 tall. Okay, so it's tall one artboard and I'm going to hit create. So I've got an 11 by 17 piece of paper here and I'm just going to kind of do command minus to kind of back off of that a little bit as I bring these images in. And then I'm just going to place those three images that we just created in Photoshop. And the way I'm going to do that is I hit file and then I go down to place. So file place and I'm going to navigate to wherever I had saved those three images, right? So um, here in my um, asset folder, actually, if I go to desktop, you go back into my asset folder, there are my three um, prepared PSD files. And there's the raw file that we made these from. And I'm just going to hold down my shift key, right? And I'm going to click on the three files that I want to bring into Illustrator. And the great thing about Illustrator CC is it allows you to import or place multiple files and I'll choose place and so you'll see my cursor is loaded and there are three uh, page icons which means that there are three pages loaded into the cursor and I'm going to drop one of three right and I'm just going to kind of do it in a way like one gets dropped and I'm going to move up two that one gets dropped and then three that one gets dropped and I'm just kind of doing it in a way so that it's a little bit easier for me to roll over and affect the three different things, and the three different images. And I'm going to just kind of zoom out a little bit more so you guys can see what's happening, right? So there's one image, um, there's the second image, and then there's the third image. And Illustrator placed them in alphabetical order. So um, the one that's set at 17 is actually on the bottom. The one set at 33 is in the middle, and the one set at 93 is on top. And to make it easier for me to see what's going on, I'm just going to give them each different colors, okay? Um, so the one on top, I'm just going to make it like a light blue. Um, that's the 93. I, so I basically just clicked on it, and then in the swatches palette, I just chose uh, the, a lighter blue. And if your swatches palette isn't open, you just go window, and then you're just going to go down to swatches and open that palette. And then I'm going to click on the um, <clears throat> number 30, the middle image, right, the the threshold 33, and I'm going to choose something like a middle, like kind of blue color. And then I'm going to go down and click on the what the last image, which is image seven, the threshold 17, and I could choose like a much darker image. So there's three, just for the sake of kind of seeing how it works, there are three images and there are three different levels of this, of a blue color. Um, so, you know, the, the image that's on top, the threshold that's 99, it actually has more data. There's more, you know, it's got the more clouds, it's got more people, it has more of everything. And it's going to look better if that's actually on the bottom. So we're going to arrange these files so that the light blue one, the one with the most... Um, most threshold or the maybe the least threshold is on the bottom and I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to go object arrange send it to the back okay and so now my next two in line are the 33 and the 17 and I'm going to click on the image with the 17 threshold and because it has the least amount of data if I don't bring it to the top I'm not going to be able to see it it will be hidden behind the image with the 33 value. So I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to go object, arrange, and I'm going to bring that to the font, right? And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to stack these using the alignment tool, right? So if I swipe over all of them, right, and then I go window align, right, I turn on the alignment tool, I'm going to, they're swiped over, I'm going to select horizontal align, and then I'm going to select vertical alignment. And so you'll notice that it has stacked them exactly one on top of the other. And they're all still selected, so I'm just kind of I'm just going to grab and kind of drag it onto the page a little bit better. 
Um, and then I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to scale it so that it all fits on the page. And you'll notice that this image is really huge. It's a 72 DPI image, but because it's so big, um, when I make it smaller, it will kind of become a little bit higher resolution. So I'm holding down the shift key and I'm just going to click and drag that bottom right anchor, and I'm just going to drag it until it gets placed onto the page, okay? And then I can go and get my um, zoom tool, and I'm just going to kind of zoom in, right, so that we can see it a little bit better. Okay, so next we're just going to talk a little bit about coloring uh, the image to make it a little more interesting.